Who among you got the best uncle of all time? For me? Well, I don't have one. It's so bad. What is going on, Flame Squad? It's your girl, Nami Te, the prettiest, the sexiest, and the hottest player here on Ultimate Tower Defense. And on this video, guys, we're gonna be checking out the power of the ultimate uncle of all time, and that's gonna be Piccolillo. Piccolo. <laughs> but yeah, you can already see him beside my Mega Man, and bro, look at his face. He's mad. But anyway, guys, before we get started, make sure that you've already subscribed to our channel because we're about to hit 20k subs and that's gonna be really awesome if you will be part of it. And of course, guys, do not forget to burn that thumbs up button for good luck. But anyway, guys, let's just go straight to our... I think that we're gonna pick Planet Namek because it's Piccolo. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I can still remember it correctly, that is actually his planet. So <laughs> let's go. Okay, we're back again here on the baby Namek. And I'm just gonna place some of our Vegetas here. And by the way, guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you are a big fan of Dragon Ball. And if you are, tell me your favorite character who is not not a Saiyan. I think that it would be really understandable if your favorite character would be Goku. I mean, come on. Goku is Goku, so no one can really replace him. Even it's gonna be like Vegeta. But yeah, for me guys, Piccolo was one of those characters that it's not like I hate him, but it's like he's so intimidating for a young Snow, something like that. <laughs> when I was really young, I was like really imagining, oh my god, I'm so lucky I don't have any uncle. And speaking of uncles, guys, who among you got a pretty cool uncle? You know, those kind of uncles that would just give you everything like, hey, there's a new game on Xbox, let's play, something like that. Oh, bro, that would be really heaven for a gamer. And I think that that's something that I would not have because my mom and my dad did not really have like brothers and sisters. So <laughs> uh, it's impossible for me to have an uncle. But anyway, guys, I'm just going to place our Aquaman here. This is just the easy version of Planet Namek, guys. So just, uh, you know, we can also focus on our Piccolo and we still need one more Aquaman. Come on. There you go. All right. So. Piccolo is a legendary unit here on UTD and you will be needing 350 cash to summon him. The same as Vegeta and also All Might. So I kind of have an idea what would he do. And I think I'm just going to put him. You know what? I'm just going to try to put him here. And just to also make sure that we're not going to lose. We're going to play some of our units here. And... Who among you guys already got Piccolo? Not gonna lie, I mean, of all of those units that we have here on UTD, Piccolo actually looks good here. I mean, he even got the antennae. Oh, wait, 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 wait hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, this animation. Okay, so, wait. Everything that touches his beam would be damaged? Oh, I got an idea. I'm gonna place our Piccolo here. And also our Piccolo here. Alright, so I think it's just gonna be like a maximum of three. Oh no, actually that was like four. Oh bro, bro, bro. Check this out. Check this out. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna set him to last. Wait, there's no last? Aw, oh, come on. That sucks if there's no last. But bro, Piccolo is kind of like Mihawk on ASTD. Look at that. He was able to hit like a lot of them because of the straight pathway. But yeah, it just sucks that there's no priority last. Could have been a lot, lot better. But oh man, that is really good. Or not really good, but that is really satisfying. Anyway, guys, let's just try to upgrade him. So you'll be needing 300 cash. Oh, actually, without any upgrade, guys, he will only damage 154. Uh, he has like 18 range, but I think that, look at that, oof. This range is just to trigger him attacking, but his splash damage would be like this whole long animation beam. And it's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Oh, okay. I think that he's gonna be a good one. All right, his damage is not really that high, but let's just try to upgrade him. On first upgrade, he's going to be 220 damage and still the same range or actually plus one range. 
and the cooldown will still be the same. Look at that. As long as it's gonna be like a straight pathway, I think that it's easy to use our Piccolo. But the problem is we do not have like priority um, last here. So I think that I'm just uh, gonna try the close one so that he will only attack like here. I'm not sure. It's really hard to control Piccolo, not gonna lie. All right, so 500 cash guys to upgrade him to the next level and look at that, 396 damage, 21 range now and 2.3 still, 2.3 seconds cooldown as I expected guys. Changing his priority to close would still not gonna be enough oh uh, bro that's a bummer though could have been a very good unit that can damage like a lot of mobs <laughs> all right so 1100 guys to upgrade him and you will be having 747 damage 23 range still 2.3 seconds cooldown it's just really satisfying whenever he is attacking like on the straight pathway but it's just uh it's just pretty mad oh actually I think that he would be good here. Yeah. All right, so let's now try to place a maxed out Piccolo. All right, so in total, guys, you will be spending 4,150 and he will be damaging 1,406 with a range of 25 and cooldown will be 2.3. And <laughs> look at that, guys. Two Piccolos are just like attacking them. Sandwich. All right, so I'm just gonna max out our Piccolo and I'm guessing that we can place like five of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna place like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna place them like this. And I think that it would be really awesome for their range. But yeah, it's just really hard to control our Piccolos though. It would be really hard to control our Piccolos. Look at that, guys. Yeah. It's going everywhere. Would have been really good, guys, if we can just control his uh, beam. Like, look at that. Some of them are, like, going here in this direction. Some of them are, like, straight. But they're already almost good. Ooh, that was a good one. They're almost already good enough to clear the planet Namek on easy mode. But then again, guys, I think that if we're going to place, like, a slow down unit here, put him to strongest, max him out. I think that it's gonna help us a lot. All right, so I think that the price would be kind of like Vegeta. Wait, yeah, Vegeta and also All Might. Ah, uh, that makes sense. So he got the same price as Vegeta and also All Might, but I doubt, guys, uh, that he's gonna be like better compared to Vegeta and also All Might unless there will be like an update where it will give us priority last. Yeah, as long as there will be like, uh, what was that map? Oh, AOT. The AOT map. Oh, no, 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 not the AOT map. The, the One Piece map. The One Piece map has a very long straight pathway. And that is the place for our Piccolo. Even this one, like this one is already good enough. So that our Piccolo would be able to damage them all like at once. Look at that. It's just really satisfying. But at the same time, it's just so hard to control. But still, you know, he's not a bad unit. That's what I'm trying to say. He's just not going to be better compared to our um, All Might and also Vegeta because Vegeta and All Might is a lot easier to use. But if in case there will be an update, Piccolo would be on their level. So it just depends on the map itself. And also he's only going to be a legendary guy. So probably you, all, you will only be needing like 100k gold, which is not that hard to get here in UTD just to have like a prestige 5 piccolo i just do not want to spend my gold right now because i have like 400k but yeah look at that it's already gonna be good enough it's really satisfying guys look at that it's really satisfying whenever piccolo is just hitting like all of them hitting all the mobs here at once they're burning but yeah because of that it's not really as fast as how vegeta especially all my clear the mobs so that means if you will only place like Piccolo here, your time for grinding would be a little bit longer, which is not really ideal if you just want to grind gold. It's now going to be wave number 29, guys. And as you can see, our Piccolos would not be able to even clear the wave 29 here on easy mode on Planet Namek. And it was just because of how hard to control them. It's not because they are bad. It's just it's so hard to control their attacks. That's all. There you go easy peasy so there you go guys that is the power of the ultimate uncle here on ultimate tower defense and that's gonna be piccolillo piccolo and oh wait 
It's my first time to... Wait. Do we really have, like, a building here? I'm pretty sure that this is something new. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. But anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a like. And of course, subscribe. Use star code to know whatever you're buying Robux and premium on your account. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Stay hot. Peace out. <laughs>